In this video, we'll be learning about the laws of exponents. Now, let's say we're given some non-zero number a, and we consider the following. a to the power of m times a to the power of n. Well, this first law of exponents tells us that this will equal to a raised to the power of m plus n. In other words, the exponents are simply added together. I'll just box this result, and I'll call this law 1. Now, let's see how we can use this. Let's say, for instance, we're asked to simplify the following. 5 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 4. Well, using the law we've just seen, we can go right ahead and write that this equals to 5 to the power of 3 plus 4, which equals to 5 to the power of 7. Or we could be given an expression which we need to simplify. For instance, we could be asked to simplify x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 4. Well, in this case, once again, we can use this first law of exponents to write that this equals to x to the power of 7 plus 4, which is equal to x to the power of 11. So that's the first law of exponents. Let's look at the second one. Let's say we're given a non-zero number a, and we're considering the following. a raised to the power of m r divided by a to the power of n. Well, the second law of exponents tells us that this equals to a raised to the power of m minus n. And I'll just box this result as well. And I'll call this law 2. Now again, we can use this law to simplify exponential expressions. For instance, if we were asked to simplify the following, 6 raised to the power of 4 over 6 raised to the power of 2, then using the second law of exponents, we can write that this equals to 6 to the power of 4 minus 2, which equals to 6 to the power of 2. Or we could end up with an expression involving x's or any other variable. For example, we could have to deal with the following. x raised to the power of 10 over x raised to the power of 5. And once again, we can use this law of exponent to simplify this expression. And we could write that this equals to x to the power of 10 minus 5, which equals to x to the power of 5. Let's look at one more law. Let's say, again, we're dealing with a number a, and we consider the following. a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n. Well, what this third law of exponent tells us is that this equals to a raised to the power of m times n. And I'll just box this result as well. And this is law 3. Now, let's see how we can use this to simplify exponential expressions. For example, we may be given the following, 3 to the power of 2 raised to the power of 4. Well, using this third law of exponents, we can say that this equals to 3 to the power of 2 times 4, which equals to 3 to the power of 8. Or again, we could be given an expression involving x's and y's or any other variable. For instance, we could be given the following, q raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 5. Well, using this third law of exponents, we can state that this equals to q to the power of 3 times 5, which equals to q to the power of 15. Now, there's one more law I'm going to show you before we move on. a raised to the power of 0, where a is a non-zero number, will always equal to 1. And I'm going to go ahead and box that as well. Now this is a special case, and the reason why I say this is because it's a very common mistake to think that a number raised to the power of 0 equals to 0. It isn't. a raised to the power of 0 will always equal to 1. And let's see why this is. Well, consider the following. If I have some non-zero number a raised to the power of m divided by a to the power of m, in other words, we're raising a to the same power on both the numerator and the denominator. Well, we know for a fact that this equals to 1. 
Indeed, if I divide any number by itself, I should definitely get 1. So we know that this equals to 1. But now that we've law learned the second law of exponents, we can also state that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of m equals to a to the power of m minus m, which equals to a to the power of 0. So combining these two results, we can state that a to the power of 0 equals to 1. And there you go. That's the first few fundamental laws of exponents.